Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Well, Petstop is due to open its doors in Wexford for the very first time next week. This is the 12th store opening for the national brand, and with further store openings planned for this year, Petstop is looking to achieve a 20% market share of the Irish pet industry. While the company is growing steadily now, its journey has not been without significant turbulence. Founder and Managing Director of Petstop, Anthony Gallagher, joins us now to discuss this journey and to outline what Wexford pet owners can expect from the new store. Anthony, Petstop was established almost 30 years ago, but how did you first identify a gap in the market for the business? Carl, thanks very much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so um, I originally from Sligo, and I worked in the retail business, and in fact, I was involved in opening the Candy store in uh, Main Street in Wexford, and I had some really, really great times down there. But I always had a desire to have my own business, and I did some consulting work, and it led me into the Petwood market through Quaker Roads. And through that, I decided that, okay, there's not, there wasn't really many large format pet stores in Ireland at the time. Uh, so I decided to use my knowledge of the pet industry and uh, my knowledge of retail. And so PetSop was born. That's where it came from. So talk to us about how the business has grown over the past 30 years. Yeah, so look, we started off in 1995. And the idea was, to be honest, I was going to open the business, get big fast, sell it on and move on to something else. So 30 years on, I obviously didn't get big fast and sell it on. (laughs) And I'm delighted and proud to still be running it. But we had lots of ups and downs along the way. You know, we were losing money. There was only a certain number of retail sites. um, And we had five of them. There's probably only another two. We need to get the critical mass to make it work. Um, So we, we we went about then sort of, you know, cutting the cost, getting the business ready to run as a normal retail business. And then 1999 arrived and the whole dot-com arrived on the scene. Uh, And then we created a business model product called PetMad.com. So PetMad was one of the fastest growing online uh, retailers for pet products in Europe. Uh, And within six months, we had an offer from a U.S. company called Petopia.com to buy us for $40 million. Wow. Um, so, you know, we were in signed heads of agreement. Uh, everything was going well. And then in April 2000, the, uh, the judge in the U.S. decided that Microsoft was too big. It was going to be broken up. And the whole dot-com bubble burst. And with it was our chance of uh, selling the business. So pets was a big sector in, in the whole dot-com boom. But... In reality, it was all built in sand because there was no real commerce behind it. So we lost five million on it. It nearly broke us, uh, and we went back. I had five stores at the time. I had to sell off four of them. I went back to one store, and effectively over the next four or five years, uh, dig myself out of the hole and pay back the five million that I'd lost in the whole online business. Wow, that's a serious story. And talk to us now about the size and the scale of PetStop in 2024. So PetStop now, with the opening of Wexford, uh, this will be our 12th store. Um, and this year we should turn over roughly around £40 million. Um, The Irish pet market is worth about £300 million. So we, you know, we're about 12% of the market. We employ 220 staff currently with the new store in Wexford now open. That's 240. I'm interested in finding out how you choose the towns and the cities you locate in because from speaking to many retailers on business matters over the past 12 years, they've often told me that the first approach they'll take is to cover all of the cities. And then from there, they will look at the market towns and they'll do some demographic analysis and that. Talk to us about your specific approach, Anthony. Yeah, well, look, I've always loved Wexford from my time with Pennies and I stayed in White Hotel for six months. And I lived in Coolcots after that. It was really great. And, you know, it's a beautiful town. And the people are very friendly, very warm. Um, and I hadn't been in Wexford for about 20 years. And I, I took a spin down during sort of uh, one of the breaks in COVID and spent a Saturday there. And I was so impressed with the vibrancy of the, the main street. It was really, really impressive. A lot of local businesses doing well. A lot of people out shopping, um, 
not homogenised like, you know, some shopping centres that have, you know, multiple retailers from the UK, etc. So a lot of local businesses doing what I thought, look, I want to be in Wexford. So we set about then looking to try and find a location. And, uh, you know, I suppose um, on, through the demise of Iceland, and I feel sorry for all the staff uh, that have worked there, um, but, you know, the opportunity came up to acquire the premises uh, in Redmond Square, and we were delighted to get it. Very good location, just, you know, at the bottom of the main street, opposite Dunn stores, good parking. So, yeah, it ticked all the boxes for us. Talk to us about the training that the 20 staff that you have employed will be getting from yourselves over the coming weeks and months to make them experts in that area. Yeah, so we have a sort of training regime that we roll out. Um, and, you know, it, it, we generally employ at least one veterinary nurse in each store. Um, and then the, the sort of the managers are generally people that have worked in other pet stop stores. So they will come with the pet stop DNA. Uh, and then we have a training program that we rolled out over the first six months. And it's, it's on a platform called Train Station. And we go through modules like nutrition. And we have professional nutritionists will come in and talk to people about, you know, what type of dog, you know, what type of food would be right for maybe a Jack Russell. Uh, you know, somebody's got a, a problem with, with their diet, what product would be suitable for them. Then it would also talk about behavioral problems, uh, talk about, you know, basic prey training for puppies. So we go through a whole list of about 150 different topics. When a national retailer arrives in a market town like Wexford, people often ask the question, well, what are they doing for the local community apart from creating jobs? Yeah, so our whole motto, our whole ethos is happy pets, happy people. And that, you know, we give, you know, we support a lot of shelters right throughout Ireland and we will be working with the local shelters in Wexford um, to, you know, we will, we generally will be giving them, you know, probably about 25 grand a year to help them towards feeding and, and caring for animals in the Wexford area. Uh, and, you know, people, local people can donate to the shelters from our, our retail store so they can buy product and we can pass it on on their behalf to the local shelters and they can have, they can have open days in their store, they can have fundraising activities. So on a national basis, we collaborate with the Irish Sky Dogs for the Blind. We also collaborate with Dogs Trust. And then we would do it on a local basis with local charities as well. There's people here in County Wexford already that deal with Pet Stop through your online store. So I suppose in some respects, you've already made customer base. How many deliveries go to County Wexford on a monthly basis? Yeah, so we would be the largest online retailer in Ireland for pets. Uh, and one of the biggest online retailers, even across the overall market. So we're at, at the moment we're we, we're sending out about a thousand uh, deliveries a month to County Wexford. That's 250 a week, and you know based on the average rate of people buying products, about every six to eight weeks. So you're looking at probably somewhere around 10,000 people already in the Wexford area are supporting pet stop. So it's a very high number. I was surprised to see in some respects that Pet Stop beat Brown Thomas when it came to store of the year. Yes, I mean, we were very, very proud of that. I mean, Brown Thomas are selling silk purses and we are selling pig's ears. So, you know, it's <laughs> really, you know, it's, it's a great coup for our staff. I mean, it's all down to the people who work in Pet Stop. All the design, all the store design, all the merchandising, all the product selection is all done by our own staff, all in-house. You know, we're up against the likes of Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Prada and Brown Thomas. And, you know, we're selling, you know, leads and collars and bowls, etc. But, you know, we were judged to be the best store in Ireland for 2023, which, you know, is incredibly, incredibly proud moment for myself and for all my colleagues and what are the other emerging trends that you're seeing in the market right now? So the big, big trend is for uh, locally sourced, locally produced foods. So small batch, not really big, um, 
not really big mass-produced ranges. So we have a number of ranges that we get manufactured in Ireland uh, and exclusively for pet stuff. Our leading brand is Nador, which is the Irish for natural, and it's made in County Kilkenny um, specifically for us. All the formulations uh, were designed by ourselves and our nutritionists. Um, and again, what it promotes is health and well-being of pets. So we, you know, we target a diet. If your dog is a puppy, a small dog, or a medium dog, large dog, we have a specific puppy diet for that. And you know, a lot of dogs can be allergic to different, you know, items. So we've got a, a fish diet, which is single source protein, so there's only fish in it. We've got you know, one with turkey, one with duck, one with chicken. So all hypoallergenic diets. Uh, and again, if you can promote the health and well-being through diet, uh, you know, dogs will live longer to be healthier. So happy pets, happy people. What's the overall plan over the next three to five years? So currently we have 12 stores. So the plan is to open another three this year, maybe four. So that will get up to 16 and open between four and five stores a year as they become available. It's really down to locations. Uh, the next store that we're opening is an Iceland store in Waterford as well, and we're looking at one, an Iceland store in Nutgrove, uh, or else a new build store in Nutgrove. So they're the next sort of two stores, and we've some more planned for later on the year after that. So it really is down to getting the right location, because you know what to say about retail, it's all about location, location, location. Was the location a problem at all for Iceland or was there more fundamental issues with their business model? No, I think there was unfortunately more fundamental issues with their business model. I mean, Iceland, the UK business, lost $36 million in Ireland. It just didn't work. And have you any plans to bring Pet Stop to the UK market? Not at the moment, but we do sell internationally on our website. Um, and we do have a number of bespoke ranges like Nador, like Allison Co., um, like Clover, different ranges that we have we have designed and manufactured ourselves. And we may look at using them as an entree to the UK pet market. Now, we might end up buying somebody, and uh, that would give us an entry in there, but starting from scratch will be difficult. And Anthony, finally, as an entrepreneur that has built an Irish retail store to €40 million Euro across the country, what advice have you got for any budding entrepreneurs that want to get into the retail space with a new concept? It's all about, I suppose, doing a good deal of market research and analysis before you start. Know your market. That's crucial. And then... You know, there's going to be ups and downs. As I told you earlier, we've had plenty, plenty of ups and downs along the way. But it's about resilience and believing in yourself. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Anthony Gallagher from Pet Stop. And we wish Anthony and the team every success with their new Wexford store. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.